ultra wealthy sitting on, and this speaks to the heart of the matter, 8.5 trillion, trillion in untaxed profits. The ultra wealthy, this is a heck of an exclusive club. And there you see them. HuffPost with the details, America's worth more than 100 million sat on a whopping 8.5 trillion in untaxed profits in 2022. A report released Wednesday found money that may never be taxed unless Congress closes a loophole shielding the investments of the ultra rich. Are you betting on Congress to close the loophole? I don't gamble, but I, that's a bet that I'll say they're not gonna do it. But these centimillionaires, billionaires made up just 0.05% of all American households in 2022. According to Federal Reserve data analyzed by the progressive nonprofit Americans for Tax Fairness. But they held one six of so called unrealized capital gains in the country. HuffPost, thank you. Unrealized gains are the primary source of income for many elite families. Under current law, growth in the value of assets like stocks, bonds, investments, real estate, or businesses is not taxable until they are realized or sold. Here's the thing, they never get sold. That's the racket, right? It's a racket. The ultra wealthy can nonetheless live off these gains by taking out low interest loans. I'm trying to tell you, against their exorbitant wealth. And when their fortunes become inheritances, the gains are no longer taxable. Aha, we got you. David Cass, the executive director of Americans for Tax Fairness stated, quote, the super rich truly live in a strange and privileged world. While most households depend on paychecks, income that is taxed all year, every year. Cass noted these untaxed gains make up the largest single source of income for the ultra wealthy. The scandal of tax free billionaires, Cass added, also results in billions of dollars less in tax revenue that could fund health care. Housing and other public programs led by President Joe Biden. Left to right, let's see it. Senator Ron Wyden, Democrat, Morgan. Representative Steve Cohen, Democrat, Tennessee, Don Bayer, Democrat, Virginia, have introduced a billionaire's income tax in both chambers of Congress. The tax would apply only to unrealized gains held by ultra wealthy households. Could generate an estimated 500 billion in new revenue over a decade. Good luck, gentlemen. You'll need it. Biden has also promised ending the loophole, known as the stepped up basis that erases capital gains for tax purposes when wealthy individuals pass on their fortunes as inheritance. Both plans have virtually, well, let's see how many are supporting it. Both plans, it says here, have virtually no support among Republicans. Without congressional action, the untouchable wealth of the super rich is likely to only grow since 1989. When the Federal Reserve began collecting this data, households worth more than 100 million have nearly tripled their share of the country's unrealized gains. The disparity in law and how the incomes of the super rich are taxed also deepens racial divides of the 8.5 trillion in untaxed wealth belonging to centimillionaires or billionaires, 7.6 trillion. About 90% is held back, is held by, let's get that correctly, is held by white households. That figure is six times the total wealth of all black households in the country. It's five times the total wealth of all Hispanic households. You wanna know why you don't have anything? I just read it to you. I just gave you the details, Senator Turner. The white collar hustle in this country, Sherry Reed, is real. The white collar hustle. The beyond white collar, the platinum collar hustle, the titanium collar hustle, the billionaire hustle in this country, Israel. And I want our viewers, Sharon Reed, to understand this. If they don't take nothing else away, this is a public policy decision. And you know what? The president proposing, instead of using the soapbox that he has as the president of the United States of America to wheel this stuff, to, to, to push on this stuff, to make it change. I ain't moved by it. In the first two years of his presidency, he controlled both chambers of Congress. You know, all they're going to do is propose. They ain't going to make none of this pop off. Why? Because this same billionaire lobby 
have bought politicians. America, it is legal to bribe politicians in the United States of America. This is the loophole is a policy choice, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. It mm-hmm. is a policy choice. Po- poverty is a policy choice and allowing the ultra, ultra, ultra wealthy who will not even be able to spend that money in, in 25,000 lifetimes is a policy choice. And so Shame. we can make different choices. Point Shameful. blank. Period, exclamation point, message in a bottle, mm-hmm. underline it, bold it. It is a policy choice. And these politicians talk. Now, kudos to the to the to the electeds who decided to introduce some legislation. Mm-hmm. But that's all that's gonna happen. Because mm-hmm. people like President Joe Biden and others, instead of traveling, got, got vice president traveling the country trying to corral black people to vote for an mm-hmm. administration that ain't mm-hmm. done really nothing for them. How about we get up here and corral people and get them all riled up, working class people of all backgrounds about these billionaires in this country? How about that? How about that? Now okay. run tell that. How'd y'all. she do it? Run um, tell it. Let me tell you something. And I may be too cynical, Senator, and you correct me because again, you you know this thing inside out. But I feel like President Biden. Again, I don't. This is just me, a lay person, saying what I feel. Rang on whatever that phone is that gets through to people on the first try, and on the other line, it was probably a party line. You had Wyden, Cohen. And buyer, he said, I need something here. I need an issue. You know, it's not, it's a no prayer. And I'm not saying you don't introduce stuff that has no prayer. You sometimes you do it because it's the right thing to do. That's but right. the timing, the what are you doing here so that I can go out and I can, we're election year and I'm on the campaign trail and I'm saying, and you get a car and you, and I'm going to fight for every single American. I don't care if you're black, white, gay, straight. That's just what I came up with in my head. Maybe I'm just a creative person and it's my own little, you know, I will get these voices under control. Uh, but button it up for me, Senator, because I'm all over the place. I'm just so no, you're sick not, of it. Sharon. You know what it is. You know what they playing in our face. Playing in our face. I love it. <laughs> I don't allow people to do that to me, to be honest with you. I just, I dip. That's when I dip. I don't got time for this. Okay.